What's up guys, today is a very simple lesson, hence the very simple theme I'm using. And uh, just if you all were wondering where I get my themes, I get my themes on DeviantArt.com. And you know, you can find the, the theme section in there, and they really have some great themes. This one's kind of silly, uh, but they're, they're, they're all pretty awesome. Uh, but today's lesson is just going to be on vertical and horizontal tabs, I guess you could say, in the message box. So for example, we have a message box here, and let's just say message uh, 1, message 2, message 3. That'll be good enough to just to show you. So let's save this as whatever we want. So spacing.vbs and run this. Now obviously this looks a little different because of the theme but you get the point. It just shows it in a straight line and then after a while it'll just cut off by itself. What if I wanted this message 2 to be on the next line down though and etc with the third one. What you do is use either a VB line feed or VB tab. So tabs obviously gonna move horizontally just like it would in a regular um, Word document and then line feed means it will go down to the next line So what you can do so say we want to add it right here, and we want this part to go down We would close off our parentheses and add with the and symbol VB L F and then add back on this is important to add back on our message so we have to put a quotation so now you'll see we have two sets of quotations here and in the middle we have our command let's go ahead and save this and see how it looks now you'll notice where we added that line feed tab it has moved our message down to the next line again we can do this anywhere let me just cut it off add on what we want so let's t use the tab command and then add back on make sure to add back on those quotes and to use and symbols in between each one now you'll see in between here there's about five spaces or a tab section over um, let's see third message let's cut this off and add a line feed then add back on our message Okay, so you see how it basically works. Uh, what if you wanted it a double space? That's simple. Wherever you want that, you just put another line feed and then add, sorry, wrong, wrong symbol, and then add back on that. Now you'll see there's two spaces in between our first message because there is two um, commands right here. Uh, obviously, you could go... Uh, as many as you wanted. I'm sure the message box wouldn't be big enough because there is a limit on that. Uh, but you can add quite a few of these. Um, also, you might notice or see this command, which is a character code, which is char 10 and char 9. So if you ever see these, just know that they're the same as this. Okay, I like using the constant form, but there is also this form. So for example, we can just put this in the place of one of these, and you'll see that it results in the same exact code. Okay, there's still two spaces. So uh, if you ever see these, don't fret about it. Either go with it, or you can change it to the um, constant form so you know a little more what it's saying, because this is a little more easier to read. Um, but that's it. Easy lesson right there, right? Um, and obviously the tab function is not completely needed because, you know, you could um, you could space it out yourself in the message box that much. And it'd look, it'd look pretty much the same, right? But the tab is uh, more constant, you know, adds the same exact space each time. So for organization, definitely go for that. Alright, thanks for watching, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Oh, before I go, just to let y'all know, uh, like most things in Pscript, spacing right here does not matter. So it can be snug tight against the quotations a few spaces out. Uh, you can have spaces in between here. Uh, that all does not matter at all. Uh, the only thing is, obviously, do not separate these words like that or anything of that sort. But, you know, uh, outside of that, uh, feel free to make it look how you want. Alright, bye guys.